Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at dependencies and the actual uh, dependency name blocks that you can actually use. Now I'm not talking about the ones that you can actually just drag and drop the entities and stuff on or you know like the ones like entity world uh, coordinates. Uh, I'm talking about specific ones that aren't actually in the list that you actually create uh, these special blocks for and then you basically put them in to your script and basically with some things like custom blocks like this one what you can do is you can basically get the hip position and you can tell what corner of the block and stuff you click on uh, of course it's a lot more complicated than just basically setting it all up like this but um, I'll be covering the dependency blocks today actually will be doing a tutorial all along like specifically on that particular system there but uh, there's a few other things that I want to show uh, the first thing is kind of like the jump height so basically with this custom dependency thing that you can actually end up doing is you can normally if you jump off of three blocks you'll be safe for the most part and if you jump off of four then you'll get damage so Basically, what you can do with the de uh, the dependencies is through global procedures. If we change our game mode to survival, and I could kind of demonstrate. Okay, our health is a little bit low, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab some food first because it was for my other test. So we can get a little bit accurate readings. So we'll go with some steak. And then we'll go ahead and go back to survival. We'll just eat something quickly. Let that regenerate. All right, so we're on five blocks up. That's six blocks. You can kind of see one, two, three, four, five. That's where we're standing, and then six. So if we jump off, nothing happens. We're actually completely fine. Now if we go into creative again, go up to this level, and then jump we take a little bit of damage. So basically I've altered the jump position, like the damage for the player specifically to fall um, and basically cancel out the damage and stuff like that based on the height of blocks. So that's pretty cool. And then there is another thing. We'll just switch to game mode because it's turning night and the last thing isn't going to take too long. So if we say uh, something like earth, uh, we can replace that with a uh, specific text. But um, for example, if we were to say, hello, I am on planet earth and that didn't work why maybe because it was capital yeah that's probably why all right so the uh basically what it's done is it's uh taken that actual word and it's for earth and it's turned it into surface so basically Obviously, you have to add support for the capital and lowercase, but you can basically replace specific words with um, by getting the text of the player and stuff like that. Chatter, my mod works very similarly, but uses um, the raw text or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's um, basically a formatting thing that adds colors and stuff like that. But it basically uses the same method. Uh, it's just a little bit more advanced so I haven't done a tutorial on it because I needed to do this but yeah basically that's what you can do with it so let's go into the procedures and I'll kind of show you the different blocks and the things that it supports so a lot of these blocks are under global triggers um, I don't really see too many under the blocks tab for the specifically blocks but uh, other elements might have them and I'm pretty sure you can actually use any dependency with these blocks not just ones that aren't actually listed so if you wanted to add custom uh, X Y and Z coordinates for your blocks then you could do that as well so uh, it's not just specifically to ones that aren't actually added you can use them for pretty much anything so let's take a look at fall damage first uh, this is pretty simple procedure so under the entity falls uh, global trigger what we're doing is we're testing if the entity is a player and then we're getting the distance so distance if you look over on the 
left hand side or right hand side for me uh, there is a couple different dependencies that it basically lists uh, damage multiplier and distance so those aren't actually blocks that you can actually grab from the list but you can add them through the advanced tab and then there's different dependency blocks right here so in this case I've grabbed the number variable and I basically type the exact same name and the, the same way that it's formatted so lowercase distance and then I've put that into this text field and then I've dragged it onto the thing it basically acts the same way as if you were to type X and then basically just drop it in here what it's going to do is it's going to test for the X dependency so it would be the exact same as if you went to Minecraft and grabbed X like this so X here will equal X here so it, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense um, obviously dependency for distance uh, we're just basically testing if distance is equal to or less than 5 and then if that's true then what we're doing is we're canceling the damage so basically that's what we're doing so that's pretty simple uh, there's tons of different other dependencies like command execute and stuff um, that will have them some of them don't some of them do so you just kind of have to find ones that you do want uh, not all of them are supported though the player sends text uh, very similar player sends chat which is the dependency name and then what I've done is I've does text which is the dependency for basically getting the, the actual output for the player's message from chat it contains earth so basically earth is lowercase that's why it was not working with the capital and then what I'm doing is if this is true then what it's going to do is it's going to cancel the um, the actual message so it's going to prevent that message from even being shown and then for each entity uh, through the basically the um, this uh, particular block here what I've done is I've just printed it, a message out to each player um, using this particular block right here the same as that one and I've given the the display name which basically just lets people know who posted the message and then a colon so people know which person or just kind of like an ending it's not exactly the same format as the vanilla code but that's okay and then all I've done is I've basically replaced earth with surface and then on text so basically when text and text so these are two things that are the dependencies right so we're just going to put it in to text and then it's going to be creating uh, actual text with this and then it's going to be printing out that message so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense there and uh, then we have that last block one so let's take a look at the block if we go into the block dependencies for triggers you can see some of the blocks have a couple different interesting um, dependencies like for this one we have hit x y and z so those are basically some of the dependencies there uh, when block added we can see that old state and moving so those are a couple different dependencies that are specific to um, these two blocks and then we have I think the other one when projectile hits block and we can determine the X, the hit X Y and Z position outside of that I don't think there's actually too many other dependencies for blocks themselves it seems to be only those few uh, procedure types but if we open up the procedure this is for that right click on the block thing and as you can see what I've done is I'm basically printing out the message this is from testing the thing this isn't actually that accurate believe it or not I'm not sure why the hit position says it's something but it's not um, what I've discovered is it is relative to the axis of the block so I'm not sure why it says like a higher number on a certain side when it's not it was weird I had to actually calculate and make an entire chart that's why I'm going to be doing a different tutorial on it but um, yeah basically what's happening is we're just testing uh, between the, the hip position if it's at the x coordinate and then we're basically going ahead and 
determining if the block uh, position is that particular po point. Uh, we're using point form because that's what the position of the thing is. And for the point form, what we're doing is we're basically dividing one by 16 and then we're getting each pixel. So in this case, what I've done is I've basically just divided the, the block into quarters using 0 0.5 because that will divide it into quarters. And I've testing for two different types of faces. Uh, I'm testing for the hip blocks for the Y direction and X direction for the, the actual uh, trigger uh, direction face, which is basically the side of the block that we're right clicking on. So the other one is basically using the little bit similar. This is south, this is X, and then there's west and east, which is using Z and Y, and then Z and Y for east, and then we have X and Z for up and down. So those are the two different ones. It's a lot of code that go into it, but you can do some pretty neat stuff with it. So I'm gonna be doing a specific tutorial on that as well. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that in the near future. But outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.